In this employee directory, we can see that each location lists all the employees that work here in an inline list. And when we go to one of our managers, they have a list of all the employees that they manage. Both of these are examples of match multiple relations because we're matching one item with a list of other items. To create a match multiple relation, we need to set up our data, create a relation column which matches multiple items, and add and configure a list component. We're also going to look at relating items that are in the same list. We want to list all the employees that work at a location. So we want each row in the locations table to match multiple rows in the staff table. In order to do this, both tables need to have a column that contains values we can match. In the staff table, we have a column that lists the name of each location. And for each one, we've made sure that it's an exact match with the name in the locations table. Now we need to create our new relation column. To do this, we go to the data editor, go to the locations table and click add column. We're going to call it staff relation, but you can call it whatever you want. Now we can configure it. We want to relate to items where the value in the name column, which is the name of the location, matches staff members with the same value in their location column. To do this, we select name in the locations table and match it with the location column in the staff table. We also need to select the checkbox for match multiple. If we don't, then Glide will just bring back the first row it finds with a match. We now need to add our inline list to our locations detail screen. Once we've added the inline list component, Glide should pick up the relation we've made and present a list of items. If you've created multiple relation columns, you'll be able to choose the right one in the values drop-down menu. Once we've made sure that the properties are configured in a way that we'd like, we can choose a layout that works for this app. In the last step, we related items that were in another table, but it is possible to relate to items that are in the same table. For example, if I wanted to list all the employees that a manager manages, then I would need to create a relation column that matches multiple items from the same list. Now, we've already set up a match single relation to relate to each employee's manager. This was matching values from the manager column with the name column. When a match is found, that row will be brought back and related to the row we matched from. But if we want to list all the people someone manages, we need to swap this around. We want to match values from the name column with values in the manager column and bring back multiple items. Let's break this down because it can get a bit confusing. A relation applies to all rows, but let's look at what happens to the first row as an example. We start in the name column with the value Marie Rao. Our relation then looks in the manager column for that value, and it brings back all the rows that match that name. We can see in the data editor that it's now matching multiple employees. Now we just need to add a new inline list for our managers relation. Select the new managers relation column in the drop down, and this will show up on our managers details screen. So that's a match multiple relation in Glide, matching one item with a list of other items.